Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can make a change on a Google Sheet and have that change emailed out to someone. In this instance, I'm just emailing it to myself, but it'll show the exact change of the old value, the new value, and when the date that that took place. So I'll show an example here. If I change this blue here to red, and I also make this change here. I'm going to change this value, those two changes. I'm going to go check my email. So I have my first change here. Gives me the file name, the sheet name, the column, the row, the old value, the new value, the user that changed it, and the date in which that happened. I could go back over here. I could see my second change. File name, sheet name, column, row, old value, new value, user and whoever modified it or the modified date and uh, I'm doing this with an on edit object that Google Scripts provides here so it'll monitor any change on the sheet and I can use this object to spit out values like old value range source user and value the only thing with user here is it's only going to give the user who has ownership of the script that's being ran whoever runs the permissions with the script so in this case it shows me on the email as the user because I have permissions to run the script and I have permissions to edit this file but if you share the file to someone else and they make an edit it will not show the user for them since they don't have permissions of the script so I'll give a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together if you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my new Google spreadsheet. I have it named email last change. I have a header record of type, color, and height. And I have these rows of data underneath. No formulas in here, just strictly data. I have my sheet named table. I also have another sheet named table 2. And I also have the same data set up. And this is just to show example that I can make a change here and change here. And it'll show the difference between the sheets. So next, I'm going to move to my app script. I'm going to go to the extensions and go to app script here. Next, I'm going to copy in my Google app script code. So I'm going to hit save. Uh, I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to hit rename. I will have this code in a link below the video so you can click on it and find the code. I'm going to go through the code step by step here. So what I got here is a function called email change with an E object coming through and I, I'm setting this up as an on edit. So before I go through this code, I'm going to set this up as an on edit trigger, this function. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to triggers over here. I'm going to click this. It's going to be bring me up in this screen. Next, I'm going to go down and hit add trigger down on the bottom right. It's going to ask me a few questions. So I'm going to choose which function to run. I only got one function here, so it's going to be email change. Choose which deployment should run. I only have one selection, the head, and select event source. I'm going to do from spreadsheet. I'm not going to schedule this. I'm just going to run it as an on edit. And then what event type? And they got a choice here. I'm going to choose the on edit because we're going to look for any edit within our sheet. And I'm just going to leave this as this. Notify me daily of failures. So I'm going to hit save. Now, at this point, it's going to take me and try to figure out if it needs permissions. So it's not going to, it's going to take me through the permissions here. So I'm going to select my user account, hit advanced, hit go to email last change. And then I'm going to allow it to edit, create, and delete my Google Sheet. So I'm going to allow it. And now I have my trigger set up here, just like that. So I'm going to go back to my script. So now I have this. So I'm going to treat this as like an on edit 
function. And I got documentation over here that kind of goes through it over here. And I won't go in detail here, but I will post this in a link below in the description as well. So you can go to it and reference it as well. So I'm going to go back over to my script. So here this object comes out and it gives us a load of information about what has changed on the change. So from here I can get the range and from the range here I can get the column and the row. So range, call the object get column, get row. So now I got the column and row. The next I'm getting out is the source, so where that change happens. So from there I can get the spreadsheet and then from the spreadsheet I can get the active sheet and get name so I can get the spreadsheet name here. The next thing, the spread sheet name, or this is just the sheet name. So that would be like table or table two down here. So next I'm going to do the sheet name and here I'm just grabbing, just calling this object out. This is just grabbing whatever active sheet I'm on and getting the name. So now I got my spreadsheet name here, which is the file name which would be email last change and I'm coming down here and I'm getting the value which is the new value and I'm calling it input value and then you can get the object of the old value and the user right here and I explained earlier in the video about sometimes the user comes in and sometimes it doesn't depending on permissions and then after that I'm going to wrap this into a table HTML table so I got my table tags, my row tags, and my column tags here. So I got my file name, just, just to kind of sort it out, make it look nice on the email. So again, I got my file name, and that's my spreadsheet name, my sheet name, sheet name, column, column, row, row, all the way down. Input, old value, new value, user, and I'm just using the current date. And then I got my email statement below here. So again, I'm doing the mail app send email. I'm putting my own email address here. Uh, I'm taking this sheet spreadsheet name plus, and I'm adding this string onto it, concatenating the string to the sheet name for my subject. And then I'm using the HTML body and passing the table here. That is all the script you need. So if you copy and paste this into any spreadsheet, you shouldn't have to modify this except your email address. I mean, depending on where you want to send that, that would be the only data you would have to change. Other than that, it'll incorporate the Google Sheet data that you put this on. So I'm going to hit save. Now we're going to go back to our sheet and we're going to go test it out. So I'm going to go over to color. I'm going to change this to, I'm on table two, so I'm going to go to blue here and I can go back over to table here and change this to 500 and then I'm going to go check the email so here I got two emails one's my security alert so I'm going to, well I didn't check that one's my security alert for doing my permissions this is my first change so again, I got my file name, my sheet, sheet name, the column, the row, the old value, new value, who did it, and the date. And then here I got my sheet name, a table, changing my values, the date, and who did it. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave below the video. Again, I'll have the code in a link below the, in the description so you can find it. Until next time.